What's up, y'all? So we just got out the vet. So she was at a one. We tested. She was at a one. Some like time sometime last week she was at a one. Then we tested again three days later. She was still at a one. So then fast forward to Monday, which is yesterday, she jumped to a 5.9. So we got the projection again today, see where she at today. And then surgical is planned for tomorrow, but push come to shove. It may happen Thursday. We'll just see where the numbers at today and then go from there. But yep, we'll keep keep you updated. She doing good. And we'll keep y'all updated. What's up, y'all? We on the way right, right now to the vet for the surgical. Man, it's been a crazy morning, man. So I went to work this morning at 4 a.m., got off at 9. Went to pick her up, got her at 9.30. Now we heading up to the vet right now. About an hour and a half drive away. Surgical scheduled for 11. So, you know, man, it's all about sacrifice and being committed to what you got planned and what you want to do. So... We heading up there now. Yesterday we did a progesterone. Her progesterone was at 9.4. So the vet was like, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do it the next day, which is today. So we doing that today. And man, I ain't gonna lie, like, you know, this shit ain't shit is definitely not for the week. Definitely not for the week. I done been driving an hour and a half to get progesterone tests for the past two weeks. I done spent about seven hundred dollars just on a progesterone test alone. So that goes to show you, you know, what finan how financially stable you gotta be if you wanna get into this game and get into, you know, this business and everything. So, you know, and this is my first breeding with Frenchie, so we're gonna see how all this goes, but I'm excited. I'm excited and I'm nervous at the same time, so but you know I got faith in God and you know everything gonna work out in his favor. So head to the vet right now. And we catch y'all there. What's up, y'all? We just got to the vet. We got here 10 minutes early, but we just called and checked in. The doctor's actually in the middle of another surgery, so we'll probably be waiting another 20 to 30 minutes. And then she said, uh, the vet receptionist said, we'll be next. So, yep, we'll keep y'all updated and see y'all later, y'all. So, we hit it back from the vet. Yeah, she is right there, knocked out. <laughs> but yeah, man, everything went well. Uh, the vet gave me a whole bunch of post op stuff, so. Put that effect put that into effect when we get home on the way back now and then we'll go for the ultrasound in about 30 days you know to see if she took or not so and i'll keep y'all updated throughout the prior process to see you know if i see any physical changes to her or anything to see you know to give me any physical notice that she did take so but even then you know it's still a chance but still so Yep, man, I'll keep y'all updated through the process, get her home, feed her later tonight, and get some supplements and her vitamins in her, and then go from there. See y'all later. What's up, y'all? So we headed to the vet right now. Get this ultrasound done. You know, I'm praying she pregnant. Her nipples have been hanging down, you know, more than what they regularly do, way more than what they regularly do, so... But you know, you don't really know until you know you get the confirmation from the ultrasound. So yeah, we're gonna see you at the vet. See y'all there. It's three. These look like four, five. Six. I'll say six for now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we on the way back from the vet. So we just confirmed and confirmed six. So, you know, man, pretty excited. I was nervous, but you know, that's why I said, but yeah, I only really know for sure we're pregnant with the ultrasound coming. You know, that's a for sure, for sure sign. And also, you know, when the public officially dropped. So yeah, man, keep y'all updated on her size and everything, how she looking. Today is September 2nd and the C-section section scheduled for October 8th. So, yeah, we're gonna keep y'all updated on the way. And again, we taking her to a full visual fluffy, carries testable chocolate. So, you know, man, the vet said, C-section day, you know, everything timing up well. You know, so I don't think she'll come early or anything, but again, you never know. 
But yeah, we'll keep y'all updated on how everything goes. What's up, y'all? So we just dropped Cleo off a C section. Got here around 11. Probably done about an hour and a half. Here at the vet now. And we keep y'all updated on how everything go. What's up, y'all, man? We head back from the vet right now. Cleo girl in the back in the crate. Bay right there. And then put the camera on the cup. She blessed us, blessed us with three. One girl, two boys. The girl look nice. Boys look nice too. We're gonna keep y'all updated on how they progress. See y'all. Yeah. Second day postmaster right now. Actually, these two just, these two right here just got done. Big boy right there still at it. <laughs> but yeah, man. Female. She nice. Got a nice little. Small male. All carry fluffy. DNA pending on testable. Big boy right this. Man. Come on. Got mama right here, mama. She doing good. Good girl. Good girl. Oh yeah, man. It's a great look. Look at the belly, man. Look at the bellies. Always can be. Always can be. Yeah, no, man. This is my first litter, so. You know, we weren't supposed to have six, but. God bless us with three. You know, I'm not the type of person to be bummed out about that. You know, because you just got to be grateful. You know, mom made it through surgery. You got healthy pups here. I mean, yeah, big litters, you know, more profit, but at the same time, you know, we always work with and we bless with what we got for real. So, yeah, man, I'm about to get back to nursing, man. Keep y'all updated along the way. What's good, y'all? It's Dog Man Sean, you hear me? Just giving y'all a two week update on the pups, everything, you know, show you how they're doing and everything. They're doing good, getting big. Right now, they're about 18 days old. Just deworned them this past Saturday. <clears throat> right here is a blue fawn male, fluffy carrier, DNA pendant for testable chocolate. This boy gonna have some nice structure and a nice head, and he is available. But <clears throat> then right here we got this blue male. I'm thinking about keeping this boy. Just look at the structure. Look at the head. This is 18 days old. This boy is going to be short. Nice and compact. I'm thinking about keeping him. I don't know yet. You know what I'm saying? I mean, right here, we got female she already sold. This girl is nice and compact. Big head, no neck. This girl gonna be nice. This girl gonna be real nice, man. Kinda remind me of the mother a little bit. This gonna be a nice dog, nah, for real. But yeah, man. <clears throat> Just wanted to give y'all a little update on the pups, everything, how they doing. They doing good, two weeks. Mama's been great. As far as, you know, doing everything, stimulating them, they eat when they, you know, when the pup's hungry, they just crawl right over her. Right over to her, she lay down, they be eating everything. But yeah, man, I'm gonna just catch y'all in the next video, though. I'm probably about to end this thing. Catch y'all in the next video that I do, but I'll see y'all.